This video presents a large, high-fidelity experimental pushing dataset collected at MIT and CubeLab. Understanding pushing mechanics is useful for a robotic object manipulation. For example, reorient parts, transport large objects, push grasp under clutter, or track object pose during manipulation. However, predicting object motion is not easy. Physics-based simulation often produce inaccurate results. In this video, we let pusher execute the same pushing motion on the block in real experiment and simulator. By putting the end poses together, we can see a big difference. The physics-based simulation is not accurate, often because of its assumptions. Common assumptions include uniform friction, Coulomb friction law, maximum power inequality, limit surface approximation, and many others. We found that they do not apply under all situations in our experiments. Moreover, if we repeat the same kind of push on the object, the object motion will be different. Here's an example of several identical pushes. Push 1, push 2, push 3. We repeat this for 2,000 times and get these different trajectories. So pushing should be better modeled as a stochastic process. After these observations of pushing, we want to first benchmark various pushing motion prediction methods. Second, check whether the assumptions made in the models hold. Third, learn stochastic pushing motion models. To do so, we collect a big data set of pushing experiments. Here is our data collection system. We want to collect data accurately and at a high frame rate of 250 Hz. The industrial robot can execute pusher motion accurately in terms of position, velocity, and acceleration. The Vicon cameras track the object pose. The four-stroke sensor measures the force received on the pusher. The pusher is a metallic cylinder. The object is pushed on an interchangeable surface. Here, we show the variations in our pushing dataset in terms of the following six dimensions. First, we conduct experiments on four surfaces, ABS, Delrin, plywood, and polyurethane. They have different frictional properties. Second, we have shapes such as rectangles, ellipses, and other shapes. Third, the pusher makes initial contact with the object on 40 different locations. And for each contact location, the pusher starts the contact with 9 different orientations. Fifth, the pushing speed ranges from 500 mm per second to 10 mm per second, that is from very dynamic pushes to quasi-static pushes. Sixth, we vary the acceleration from 2.5 to 0.1 meter per second squared. These variations lead to 52 million triples of pusher position, object pose, and force received that can be used for model testing and learning. Here we show some examples of our experiments. First, pushing with very slow and quasi-static speed. Next, pushing with higher speed. Third, pushing with highest speed. Pushing with constant acceleration. We have an auto-reset mechanism to make sure the object is inside the workspace after several pushes. The auto-reset mechanism allows the robot to collect thousands of pushes fully autonomously. 
For more detail about our pushing dataset, please check our website.